so someone asked me why uh, that I should be getting a lot more views. And I said, uh, YouTube uh, gaslights me. You know, they try to make me seem like I'm crazy and they're just demoralizing me, etc. Again, if it wasn't for the people donating for the cats and and a few other people in the private room, um, I would I would stop making the content. They would have won because you can't beat this. You know, I, I post something and I like I'm at the very top you see a Bronx apartment collapse, very clear. You Google you search that term and you get Bronx apartment collapses. But you don't get my my uh, my content. If you look down, it says YouTube search terms. Uh, search terms. Sorry, it's four o'clock in the morning here. Uh, SpaceX Live. So this is what they YouTube search terms. They've decided that Bronx apartment collapse. They'll just put me with anybody searching SpaceX Live. And if you look down, suggested videos. Cape Town, South Africa, sea level check. Tragic death of a uh, LinkedIn Park, whatever that is. Truth about tranks, zombies, dredge of the city, Los Angeles. The truth is out. Now, playlist featuring this video that didn't connect it. Now, there we go. So, SpaceX Live. Now, if I do a video on SpaceX, which I should do, let's see if they then say, oh, okay, SpaceX. Well, they put it with the Bronx. Anyway. No, I've, uh, the, one, of the, one of the problems that I have is that they've, I think I've reverse engineered that anything I put with the word collapse on it, they automatically uh, shadow ban me. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and I'm going to pull off the word collapse and let's see if we can change this a bit. Remember, I have someone who's personally watching my channel, I think, that's uh, there and, they, and they're having a good time of making sure that I get my ass handed to me no matter what. I think they've gone on vacation a couple of times where I was able to get free. But besides that, they appear to be the biggest cocksucker I've never met. All right, so there we go. Bronx apartment collapse, and they put me under SpaceX Live on the search terms. Oh, incidentally, if you go to SpaceX Live, you won't find me. So SpaceX Live, let's do that. So let's go to YouTube. Let's just pull that open and pause it. Pull it down and um, let's search for SpaceX Live. SpaceX Space Live. So that's what they said I'm under. Let's see if my content shows up. Okay. Falcon launches. Um... It has no problem. Starlink, they got no problem with tying in SpaceX Live. I don't see where they're mixing up uh, my content with them. Let's change the filter. There's a filter here. Search filters. Let's go with uh, uh, this week. Just a couple days ago, I put it up. So this week's. Nope. Nope. So you can see it doesn't show up, right? Doesn't show up my content. Now, let's go with Bronx Apartment Collapse to show you that this is how nasty it is. Bronx Apartment. Hmm. Um, collapse. And search. And then uh, nothing. All right, there's nothing here. Let's filter it. Let's change to, well, it was only this week, so it's going to be tough. Um, it's usually uh, to do it the same day to be able to prove this, to be able to, to, to show you. And let's see if I can see one of my videos here. Nope, 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 nope. So, no. First, they put this mainstream media stuff up here. And, nope. Nope, 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 nope. If you look to the left, the uh, little thumbnails, uh, the little icons will tell you who it is. Uh, looks like a lot of stations. TV stations over again. This number seven, ABC seven, just dominating that. Um, dominating it. All right, so I don't come up there. Let's do one more. 
let's do one more thing here. Let's do filter again. And I know I didn't put it up today because it's the next day. It's 4 a.m. in the morning. But let's change it to... Um, Hmm. Let's do ratings. You'd be surprised how good I do in ratings sometimes. Um, okay, there, there's a video of mine where I talked about Bronx um, apartment building collapse. Scaffolding is a shed material. Now, I, I just wanted to bring it up while I was working on some trim there. And there it is. My content shows up. The content shows up. Okay. We found a little crack here. Someone found one. Um, when I say one, I'll, I'd give that a significant crack. It's a step crack, but it's kind of... Hmm. Terminates. Yeah, because it's going across that sill. That makes it pretty significant. That's eyewitness seven. That might be worth looking at that. Okay. That one might be worth uh, adding into this content. Let's just scroll down a bit and see what we got. All right, let's go to that crack sill. Crack sill. That's worth it. And apparently, I'm not good at finding it again. Didn't go far enough. There we go. So there's mine, and then it's below that, right? And that's ABC7. Okay, so I'm right there. Now to what went wrong with this old building that was no stranger to safety problems. Eyewitness News has obtained an engineer's report that warned about cracks and other problems with a 96-year-old building. The problems found years ago. The problems were not completely fixed until it was too late. What would have been done if this were your home? What would you have done? Investigative reporter Kristen Thorne here now with a closer look of what went wrong. Kristen. Bill, I spoke with the engineer who was in charge of inspecting this building and for the facade work, and he says, based upon what he sees, and no one is disputing, he says, that it appears the corner column at the first floor collapsed. Richard Konigsberg says the Department of Building... Well, that's what I put, and this is nine hours ago. So he could have said that way before I did, but he didn't. So, yeah, now he's the column. So don't I get a shout-out? No, I don't get a shout-out. I get a shank in the back. And other agencies, however, will determine the exact cause of the collapse. Koenigsberg says the facade had been worked on recently and the repair work was complete above the second floor of the building, but not below. Eyewitness News obtained a March 2021 report in which the engineer working on the facade... So let's look at this. Um, I'm going to blow this image up. It's going to turn it sideways, so forgive me. Forgive me to see a format we're using. Well, the sill is uh, definitely dropped. It's interesting how it dropped and there's no room for it to drop. Oh, it's a facade. That's right. The first layer of brick, guys, is a facade. It's, uh, it's a decorative brick, if you will. So, yeah, that can, and it's not, and it's set back from the brick, set forward from the brick behind it on this, around this window. So that's fair game of the building noted cracks throughout the building a section of the I'm gonna spin that back around now you know what I know you had to look at it that way now let's look at it this way um, there's the roof line hmm parapet wall, a small wall around the roof of the building was also bowed. The engineer noted in a report that okay, what do you say? Let's read it ourselves, or let me pause it and read it. Uh, 2021. 
Nothing on a building was immediate was immediately hazardous. The building was considered um, unsafe because the seventh cycle SW ARMP conditions have not been corrected, and there was significant masonry damage throughout the facade. It could, and so it can fall down and hurt somebody, so that's that danger alone. Not that he's saying it's structural, but it's, you know, the, 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 the face brick can fall down and smash somebody's skull until tomorrow. The condition of damage are identified on the repair drawings, which are included in the supporting documents. Since the eighth cycle report was filed before the outbreak of COVID-19, it was expected that the work would be completed by February 2022. However, the outbreak of COVID-19 delayed the start of the repair A cycle A sidewalk repairs. A sidewalk shed is present along the south elevation on the building's terrace along the east elevation on um, something place I think it's Neiman Street and oops lost it and along the north elevation on that's it's the far end of the building DOS that's a hint for you inspection on the February 18th 2020 which included a visual inspection of all the facades from the ground in the roof the roof was accessed, uh, accessed to inspect the parapet in interior bulkhead conditions, roof surface, and roof appurtenances. KEPC did not conduct a hands-on inspection since the building is unsafe, end quote. On March 23, 2021, KEPC briefly visited the building and condition observed in 2000 have not changed. 2020 correction. Scope of inspection, and there's a scope, the limited scope. Um, that's their limited scope. The facade was unsafe due to... Crack pick vertical bricks and seals and... and uh, Water tables, um, loose and damaged mortar. All right, so guys, mud seals are the what they they talk about mud seals, what the scaffolding sits on. A slight boat section of parapet cracks at the parapet interior. Mm -hmm. Cracked brick, vertical cracks at sills, loose and damaged mortar, and more. The engineer had also noted the issue. Hmm. I wonder if that's our corner. That looks like they try to goop it close. Goop, you know, goop. Technical term. Um, yeah, it looks like our corner. Huh. That is not a good sign. Choose previously in February 2020. According to the engineer, repairs were supposed to start back then, but then COVID delayed everything. We obtained a letter from December 2021 in which the owner of the building filed for an extension and said they anticipated the project to be completed in 12 months. The reports were done as per all the required laws, um, and I think that the engineers, it appears, raised all of the appropriate things, and it appears that the owner was trying to make the corrections. It just seems like the timing didn't happen uh, soon enough, and it seems like uh, the deterioration caught up with them. But under New York City code, just because a facade is... Oh, that's just a small brick. That's a small brick, all right? Nothing to cry about there. Deemed unsafe doesn't mean the entire building is unsafe, but in this building, the facade was a load-bearing wall. Some folks have sort of thought, well, this is... Okay, the facade was not a load-bearing wall. The facade to the right was a load-bearing wall. The facade to the left was a curtain wall. Um, you could... 
literally remove it if you could keep the wall to the right stable. So the wall to the left could be considered load bearing or rather structural because it, it's like a shear wall. It helps reinforce the wall to the right so it doesn't just fall off. But with careful removing, you could remove the entire, that left wall there, you could remove it all the way down to the glass. As you see here, it can be done. The floors would would fall would not fall, but the because the floors are pocketed to the right. The right wall is a structural wall, so um, the parapet is on it. So you would have to remove the parapet, but it's the building wouldn't collapse because you remove that wall, as long as you can maintain stability in that wall to the right. All right, here we go. The floor. You know, this is just the outside of the building. Well, in this case, yeah, it is the outside of the building, but it's also holding the building up. This was the building itself coming down. The engineer on the facade work tells Eyewitness News he believes the structure collapsed at the ground floor. In fact, a crack in the facade at the ground level. Okay, now we're talking about my crack. I already did this way over nine hours ago, so somebody's a little late to the party looking at my shit, right? Take the credit for it, why don't you? That's why I think uh, most engineers are cocksuckers. Level had been there for years. I reached out to the owner of the building and left a message at his office, 1915 Realty, based in Midwood. He did not get back to me. So let's get back to, to real quickly that. Um, so I go home. Um, give me a second here. Um, content, content. All right, this is what I put up uh, uh, one day ago. This one, I don't know if I can give you a better time, but it was greater than nine hours ago. And I talked about the corner column. And now nine hours, uh, nine hours ago now. So it's four o'clock a.m. here. It's like 417. So we're talking that they got that data around eight o'clock p.m. Uh, no, that's six hours. So around six o'clock um, p.m. yesterday, and I put this up. So yesterday would be the today's the thirteenth. So yesterday would be the twelfth. Let's see. Do I can't get a better time on this? Anyway, I put that up way before them. Sixteen hours ago. There it is. Somebody commented sixteen hours ago. Maybe they commented later than that. Eighteen hours ago. So now this happy come lately clown comes and says, oh, I think it's that column there. Well, you should have said that a long time ago if you thought that. All right. So, yeah, I get no credit. And you know what? Again, if it wasn't for the you guys taking care of the cats, Donna Bell, Donna Bell, I like, I like to say still, Donna Bell, um, Stacy, um, Carolyn, uh, some of you send, uh, PayPal me for the, for the kitties and for the channel. And, like, people like, uh, Zachary, I haven't seen him in a minute. But the, uh, um, Pugface Media, you can go over to his channel and check it out. And, uh, qu quite a few of the other enjoy the, uh, content. And in the private room, people who sign up for that, the join room. I put other information over there. I don't have anything for this one, but the, if you want to see the Titan stuff, it's over there. And if you join, please join the second level because I'm probably going to get around to eliminating the lower level just to make sure I don't get any uh, bandits coming over there. I figure they're too cheap to pay the extra dollar to join in the upper level. All right. Um, and I'm sorry that it cut anybody else from enjoying that content over there. If, you're, uh, if you've given, donated money to the channel and you're not over there, I'll pay for because they don't even let me donate a membership. i got to pay also. I'll pay for your membership in the private room if that comes, if you, if you so desire. Okay. Take care. Love you guys. And, yeah, this is what it looks like. Let's click that one again. First day, retaining wall collapse. Um... Uh, oh, there's my recent video. Hold on, it's not it's not the right thing. There we go. So I go to reach, and under reach, it has me. Yeah, no, it can't figure out what I'm putting doing the content on. So there you go. I've uh, this is what it looks like to be gaslit. Uh, it's mental abuse. It is 
what YouTube does. Take care. Love you guys. Thanks for sticking around. Oh, and then when I do hit it sometimes, they'll remove. I actually did another video show they move 600,000 views when something was got a lot of traction. And so that was like a negative thing. I think somebody had a good joke for that. When they say that a dude going backwards or someplace, they said something that was quite humorous. That I was, it was uh, witty. I enjoyed wit.